Issa Eas is now a Category 1 hurricane as it churns its way through North Carolina. Maggie Newland is giving us a look from downtown Raleigh where flooding may become a risk. We're in downtown Raleigh where the rain and wind have really picked up over the last hour or so. If you take a look at the street behind me, you can see the water flowing pretty quickly along the side of the street here, and you can see the wind actually blowing the rain toward us. This is a big change from what we were seeing just a short time ago when we were seeing pretty heavy rain, but we weren't seeing any wind at all. If you look around, puddles in the area, you know, are rising, but fortunately we haven't seen a lot of flooding, at least no flooding downtown, but we will continue to watch this situation that will presumably get worse before it gets better. In downtown Raleigh, I'm Maggie Newland. All right, Maggie, thank you very much. Time right now is 415. Jim, the good news here, in this case, if people don't know, this was actually a fairly fast-moving hurricane. It picked up some speed. It did. And, Scott, uh, this time yesterday morning, it was only moving at about 9 miles an hour. Now it's moving at 26, 27 miles an hour. Uh, so it's quickly, you know, moving across land, and as that happens, flooding becomes less of an issue. You can certainly see at Garden City, the bigger story, I think, was the storm surge and some of the waves uh, that were crashing into uh, the shorelines. You can certainly see that again in South Carolina. That was Garden City, uh, which uh, certainly had its own impact uh, from the hurricane. Uh, now this working its way off uh, towards the north, quickly moving across North Carolina, and will continue to work. Work its way eventually through Virginia. It looks like uh, the nation's capital on up near New York City. All this as a tropical storm. Uh, so, still some wind along with that heavy rain and still some uh, rip currents to contend with. But it was not a major hurricane, which is certainly good news. But you can see all the warnings now along the eastern seaboard. These take you all the way up to Maine, flooding inland as well. Uh, so, traveling out towards the east coast today or through tomorrow. Uh, not a good idea here. The winds are down to 70 miles an hour, so back down to a tropical storm. But there's that movement I mentioned to the north and northeast at 26 miles an hour. So as it moves quickly, you can't get as much rain down on the ground to really get that flash flooding going. Uh, but still some high water issues, no doubt, as this hurricane now, a tropical storm, makes its way up towards New England here over the next 24 to 36 hours. Well,